Nigerians have welcomed year 2024 with lots of excitement, lots of hope that a brighter year has been ushered in. A lot of them have the opinion that year 2024 is going to bring a lot of prosperity for Nigerians. Like Mr. President said, let the poor breathe. A lot are hopeful that the poor will eventually breathe in 2024. I pray 2024 is going to be a blissful year to us. It's going to be a better Nigeria. A renewed hope 2024 will be a better Nigeria for all Nigerians out there. For the people of Nigeria, it's going to be a different year. That's why the challenge we passed through in 2023 is going to be a totally different year. And we pray it's going to be a success for every one of us. 2023 was an amazing year for yes. me and I hope for a better 2024. My name is Happy Salim. I want to be happy. My dear, I want to keep bad energy away from me. Yes, and I want to be a like a better version of me now. I feel like we should be positive, you know, and be hopeful that things are going to be better. So I think it's worth celebrating the crossover, the fact that we're alive. Nigeria is a good country. There's so much money here. Just find out something to do and be committed to that thing and be consistent with that thing. You will win. I want to contribute my own quarter to the Federal Republic of Nigeria for my country to be a very be better place. A better Nigeria is us. So I feel we should all join hands together. Help Mr. President, help the government to have a better country by the grace of God. I, I believe in growth in myself in 2024 by God's grace. So in 2024, I also believe Nigerians, I pray for Nigeria to be more united than this and let's be one nation and push the nation forward by God's grace. Yesterday, the budget was signed and the president has said that the best years are yet to come and that we're going to start immediately. You can see we're activating, he's activating the student's loan, he's activating infrastructure. You can see that our crude oil, our refineries are going to be up. Deadlines were given for December and January. And if you see what's going on in Potanko refinery right now, you'll see that the government is actually walking the talk. Talk by Alabi, NTA.